Les White is Story County's public health director. She says its booster plan is no different from the plan put in place to start giving the very first vaccinations. They will contact long-term care facilities, making sure they have a plan in place and offer help if needed. Reach out to first responders, the first group vaccinated, and go to county businesses and schools as the need arises. The one variable they can't plan for is volume. We don't know exactly how many people that will want to take um, advantage of that booster. People on Main Street in Ames are all in. Jessica Spora says she will get the booster to protect the ones she loves. To keep my kids who can't be vaccinated protected at home. Uh, I have a husband who um, is immunocompromised as well, so it's important in our household. Others are just as ready. I'm, I'll be first in line. Yeah. Both John and Jill Shokita say it is what needs to be done to prevent getting and spreading the disease. We grew up in an era where, you know, polio and measles were prevalent and we got our vaccines at school and, you know, so I think it's just doing our part. Story County Public Health is just waiting, waiting on the final go ahead from the Iowa Department of Public Health. If needed, their plans can change. It's not uncommon for us to be prepared, I guess, for the unknown. Um, our whole journey uh, with COVID-19 has somewhat been um, changing from day to day. Story County Public Health is hoping the final go-ahead from IDPH will come later this week.